Consider the following problems involving combinations. A four-person committee is to be elected from an organization's membership of 11 people. How many different committees are possible? Notice that in this problem here, the order does not matter. That is, we are just asked to select four persons from 11 people. And there's no designation between any of the persons or people involved in the committee. Therefore, this is an example of a problem involving combination. To answer this, we will use the combination formula. Let's recall the combination formula, combination of n taken r, is given by n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. For combination, it is just like the permutation formula, and then you have this r factorial here in the denominator. Going back to the problem, since we are going to select four persons from 11 people, then we are going to have 11 taken 4. Now using the formula, we have 11 factorial divided by 11 minus 4 factorial times 4 factorial. We will simplify this. We have 11 factorial, 11 minus 4 is equal to 7. So you have 7 factorial, 4 factorial. Simplifying this, write 11 factorial as 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 factorial. And then just copy 7 factorial in the denominator and write out 4 factorial as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 7 factorial will then cancel out. And also you can cancel the 4 here with the 4 from the 8 there. So you have 2. And then 3 would cancel out with 9. So you have 3 here. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And then this 2 here would also cancel out with this 2 here. Then multiplying, the numerator will then be 11 times 10 times 3. And the denominator is just equal to 1. So this is equal to 330. Let's now consider another problem. There are 14 standbys who hope to get seats on a flight, but only six seats are available on the plane. How many different ways can the six people be selected? Since there's no mention that the order is important here, or the order in which the six seats are to be given to 14 standbys, then therefore this problem is a problem on combination. So to solve this, we will use the combination formula. In this case, we have 14 standbys and 6 available seats on the plane. That means only 6 people will be chosen from 14. So we have 14 taken 6. This is equal to 14 factorial divided by 14 minus 6 factorial times 6 factorial. 14 minus 6 is equal to 8. The numerator will be rewritten as 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 factorial. The denominator will be 8 factorial, copy 8 factorial, and we write 6 factorial as 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then just cancel out 8 factorial here. Multiply all these numbers here and divide it by the product of the numbers here. You can use your calculator to compute this and you will get 3,000, 
3. There are 3,003 ways to do this. Let's take a look at this next problem here. How many different committees can be formed from 5 professors and 15 students if each committee is made up of 2 professors and 10 students? Notice that the professors here will not have any designation and also for the students. Therefore, this is an example of a combination problem. The first step is to choose two professors from five professors. So to do this, we will use the combination formula. Since we have five professors to choose from, we have five choose two. Using the combination formula, this is just equal to 5 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Simplifying this, we have 5 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 2 factorial. We write the numerator as 5 times 4 times 3 factorial, the denominator Copy 3 factorial and write 2 factorial as 2 times 1. You can cancel 3 factorial. So you have 5 times 4, which is equal to 20, divided by 2 is 10. You have 10 different ways to choose the professors. Next is we choose the students. We have 15 students available for selection, and we only have to choose 10. We use a combination formula choose from 15 students we're going to choose 10 so this is equal to 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 10 factorial times 10 factorial so we have 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 10 is 5 factorial and then copy 10 factorial and to simplify this, we'll write the numerator as 15 times 14 times 13 times 12 times 11 times 10 factorial. 10 factorial to cancel with the 10 factorial here. Divided by, we will write 5 factorial as 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And then just copy 10 factorial. Therefore, we can cancel 10 factorial, multiply the numbers here in the numerator, divide it by the denominator, and you will get 3,003 ways. To get the number of different committees that can be formed and is made up of two professors and 10 students, we will just have to multiply the choices. Multiply 10 times 3003. So 10 times 3003 is equal to 30,030. So there are 30,030 different committees that can be formed from five professors and 15 students if each committee is made up of two professors and 10 students.